Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, in a couple of episodes, we've, uh, we've talked about the Windows 7 login screen, how you can pimp it out, customize it. We're doing that again today, but I found an easier way and I wanted to share it with you guys, so step into my office. All right, now before we get started on that, can you believe it's been 25 years since .com came around? My God, it seems like forever ago. Averisign is going to help us celebrate that by uh, having a contest. And they want to find out how dot-coms have changed your life or uh, maybe even made your life a little bit better. Uh, they're going to offer uh, $10,000 and uh, the ability to win one of uh, 10 iPads. So you just want to head over to howdoyou.com and share some stories with them and, uh, like I said, could win you some loot. An example for me would be uh, dccomics.com. And a uh, good example for the pimp you're going to see today, actually. I grab a lot of wallpaper from those guys and uh, get my comics news. So definitely a one way to, uh, to talk about how dot-coms can uh, make your life a little bit better. So make sure you share that with VeriSign. All right, now let's get started on this, guys. So like I said, we've talked about the Windows 7 login page a couple of different times. Uh, we did the DIY, and then we also did the, the DIY where you're removing the, uh, the power button and the Windows 7 branding. But uh, you know Lazy Lucas always wants to find out if somebody else can do it for him. And uh, guess what? I found one, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So basically, it's a way for you to change your Windows 7 login on the fly. It's pretty sweet. So the first thing I want to show you guys is where to grab it. And you're going to get that at uh, tweaks.com. And it's going to be tweaks.com slash software slash tweaks logon. And that's where you're going to grab it. Nice little free app that is uh, that's pretty sweet and uh, super intuitive to use. And that was a big plus too. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, launch the software now, show you guys what I'm talking about. So you see the, uh, the app comes up. I've just got mine in my taskbar for, uh, for ease of use there. And guys, it is just as simple as this. You literally click on Change Logon Screen, and that's going to put you into your, uh, your default Windows wallpapers because it assumes that's where you're going to go with it. I don't think so, and I don't pin my PC. So we're going to head over to my Pictures Library and uh, separate or select one of these guys here. We'll just go with this uh, pretty sweet Joker pick we got here. Say Open. And uh, as you can see, it's going to take the old logon background and it's going to move it to, uh, to a backup folder that you have. So it actually does it for you, which is another really cool part of this app that I really liked. Because like I said, someone else is doing it for me and that's all right. So we're going to say OK. And then once that happens, you'll see that the logon has been installed. It's done. And uh, click on the test just so you can see what, uh, what I'm talking about. And then boom, there's my new customized Windows 7 uh, logon screen. Pretty freaking cool, right guys? So we're just going to pop back in there. And a, uh, another really cool thing that I really, really dug about this was, if you remember on that do-it-yourself episode that we did, you could only use specific uh, resolutions. And the file, I think, couldn't be bigger than 256K. Well, this app actually takes care of it for you. So if, if you're just like, geez, all I want to do is change my logon screen. I just want to use this file. Now you can. You don't have to worry about the size. So we'll, uh, we'll bring that up now and show you guys what I'm talking about. Head back over to pictures. We'll just grab one here that I know is way too big for the, uh, for the specifications they give. Now you can see that the, the selected file is too large. Only images less than 245K are compatible. Do you want me to create and copy automatically adjust the image? Why, yes, I would, please. So we're going to say yes. And, uh, and there it does. Like I said, takes it, takes it, moves it to a background folder already within uh, your system 32. Pretty sweet, guys. Auto, auto easy. So boom, just like that. That image that was once too big, now part of that. So if you want to see that, we'll just test that out. So you can see just how easy it is to, uh, to change this login screen. Guys, I could not be more stoked about this because I do this constantly. And another pretty cool thing about this app, not really sure why you would use it, but just in case you ever do, it's got a uh, revert to default logon screen at just a single click. You basically just head down to it, click on that, boom, you're right back to your default uh, Windows 7 logon screen. Not bad, not bad, eh guys? That's today's show. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com and uh, hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com. Let me know how you're finding that free app. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!